Hey gang. Okay, I was watching some anime and eating some very good dinner, which takes precedence over you guys and eating air conditioning stuff, but I uh, thought if I don't do it now, I'll probably put it off till next week. And the lighting's pretty good and I'm in a good mood, so we're going to talk again about uh, combination fan limit switches and wiring. Um, if you're not familiar with combination fan limit switches, you haven't missed the video. It's typically used on older furnaces and it's a control device to turn the blower on and off and also limit uh, a safety on the gas valve in case the blower doesn't come on or the furnace gets too hot. Uh, before I had shown you just the the fan limit switch but while we were tearing down the scrap pile the other day you know sorting out uh, copper lumen and whatnot to take to the scrap yard and make some cash I ran across a couple of others ironically even though I'd stated before that I don't see very often uh, the ones with preheaters on them um, two or three in a row had preheaters and this one does too but this one is a really nice one it's um, this is all in the same box. You can see it's got the, uh, this normally mounts in the furnace. If that was the furnace wall, it would be flush up against it. And, uh, and uh, the door for the blower would be over here. You can see the door switch right here on the side. So we're going to kind of walk through the wiring on this, if I can do it uh, uh, carefully one-handed. Let's look at the terminals on the side here for a second. The top terminals, heat. The second one is the fan, as you can see, and the third one is uh, BC, which is common. And you have power, and the bottom is actually marked uh, X. In this case, X is going to go to the gas valve, but that'll be self-evident when we get done looking through it here. The, uh, the beauty of this is it's just the way the simplicity is laid out once you get used. I mean, it looks like a big mess of wires, and it's confusing if you're not used to working on this stuff. So we'll start at the base. Uh, power coming in. Normally you have a hot wire coming in, which would go to one of the terminals on the door switch. And this would be coming off the back. Someone's clipped it. There was probably a wire going there. Uh, this here, you have two black wires tied together. One of them goes to power the transformer, 120 volt side of the transformer. And the other one comes up here and goes to the normally uh, goes to this contactor, um, not contactor, this relay, excuse me. This uh, section of the relay that we're looking at here, the bottom section here, uh, is normally open. This from here to here is normally closed, and the coil is on the back side. These two back here are the 24 volt coil. So, in normal operation, if you uh, had say a call for just the fan to come on or air conditioning to come on you would have the fan you would have the fan the green here which was the orange here that powers around the orange and the orange comes over to the tab right here and uh, the yellow here goes to the common here and that would give you 24 volts on the coil which would uh, engage the normally closed to switch to the normally open position, we'll close it here and allow voltage from the door switch coming through here to go through here and go to this wire. And as you can see, this is wire netted off, so I'm going to just cut it. This is the black wire that would normally go to the high speed on the blower. So you're good there. We go with it. Um, the white wire coming off the transformer, you can see, is wire netted to a couple other wires. The small one here is actually going to the line voltage coming in. And the white one, the other white one here, the thicker one, went to the common on the blower motor. Okay, let's go back up here. Let me set this aside. If you have a, uh, a call for heat, let's say we have a call for heat over here on the W. And, uh, and you see there's two wires coming off of the W wire here. And the first one, we'll look at the red one here off the top, comes over and it loops around and it goes into the top section of the combination fan limit switch. Now this is a high voltage, low voltage setup on the, on the limit switch. Low voltage on one side, high voltage on the other. So the little tab that would normally be in the middle when you buy it from the factory has been snapped off to separate it so you can do it both ways. So you have a call for heat and the voltage comes down through here, goes to the top. 
automatically flows down through the path to the bottom, which is the uh, which is this one here, because it just goes straight down from there to here, to this one here, and this comes out and comes over to here, which is X, which in this case goes to the gas valve. Probably goes through a couple of the limit switches and then goes to the gas valve. The other wire coming off of the same W over here is the yellow wire. This yellow wire comes over here, goes to the center tab. You see there's uh, two center tabs there. And this is the preheater. So it comes in here and it heats up a circuit in there. And the back side of this, uh, the other wire coming out comes over, goes to the common side of the coil on, uh, on this here, which is just going back over to the common here. They could have ran it just straight over here, but it was a good place to put a double tap there. So when you have a call for heat on here, it's immediately sending voltage through here uh, as long as there's no errors. And it comes down through here and goes back out here and cuts on the gas. So you have uh, the standing pilot on the gas valve. The pilot lights up. This heater is probably a real short-term heater, so instead of letting the, the, the dial spin up over, say, four or five minutes when it's cold, it immediately cuts the fan on pretty quick because the, the circuit in here is designed to cut it on a lot faster. And I don't know what the reasoning is they have for that, but I'm sure there's some old-timers that can answer that. So uh, that's where we're at there. The, uh, all right, let's back up here. This is the, uh, the fan side over here. So if we rotate around and the fan kicks in, we have, let me look here, where is our wiring going? Let's come back over here. We have, like I said, normally this is hot, straight hot coming here. This is the normally closed position going from here to here, which means this is always live as long as the door is closed and you have power. So you have live voltage going through this 24 hours a day, which comes down to here, the bottom left hand section here, and this uh, runs power up to here. Now when the preheater cuts it on or the temperature rises and it cuts it on, it will close the contact in here or close the circuit in here and pass voltage to the top wire. The top wire comes out here and uh, you can see I've got a wire nut on here already. Someone's cut this. This is like the blue so it's probably medium or low speed on the uh, on the fan so that's pretty much it it's pretty straightforward it's just a matter of and it's a lot easier to look at it here than it is to try and figure it out in somebody's attic uh, and, and sort it all out and like I said you'll see them wired differently but uh, that's basically it it's pretty straightforward kinda neat um, a really neat design and uh, I'm probably gonna take that door switch out and save it it's probably good but uh, there you go. And like I said, a lot of times they won't have the preheater on them, but this one does. And the reason may be they had uh, stress issues with the furnace, so they wanted the blower to come on first, not let too much heat build up on it. Um, could be any number of reasons, but I'm, I'm not an old, 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 old guy, so you might ask some of the older guys about that. Hopefully, this has helped a little bit, and if I miss anything, or you have uh, any other questions, Please, please feel free to ask. I just I saw this in the junk pile, and I thought, wow, this is just too good of a, a little teaching tool to, uh, to pass up on. So hopefully uh, that went okay. If you had any issues with being able to see anything, um, I could probably cut wires and rewire it or something later. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, leave any feedback if you want, and uh, take care.